What's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. Bosh, we got a physique update today. Let go. <laughs> Much better. So I have been dieting for around about 10, 11, kind of there or there about weeks now. Lost around about 14 pounds and I feel fucking fantastic. I feel like right now I'm in the perfect position to just maintain exactly where I'm at. I feel like I could do that easily. I feel like I'm eating enough food. I don't feel tired. Well, I do feel tired, but that's because I don't sleep that much. My calories are at 2,300 calories, 190 protein, 250 carb, and 60 fat. I haven't had to drop that for almost three months worth of dieting now. I am waiting for the day where that does have to come, but today, especially with this physique update, everything like that, I had a barbecue yesterday. I'm doing fine. I'm doing good, and I'm comfortably losing weight, and I'm very, 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 very happy with the progress so far. With that in mind though, soon, come Body Power Weekend, when it was meant to be anyway, I'll have a very important decision to make as to what I decide to do. I guarantee you I'll hit 169 pounds by that point in time. 169.9 it could be, but I will be in the 160s by the time May 15th, I think that's the date. By the time that day it comes around, I promise you, I will hit that. So one thing that I'm kind of changing my mind on, on a daily basis right now, is what I'm gonna do when I get to that point. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna continue to diet? Am I gonna accelerate the process? Am I gonna slow the process down? Because my, my approach to dieting, if you're new here, is very relaxed, it's very sustainable. I don't cut food groups, I don't cut carbs, I don't do any of this random fad diet shit, right? I just watch my calories, hit my protein and keep active, right? With my training, with my cardio and all that jazz. One thing that people tend to do, in my opinion, is definitely overcomplicate things because they get sucked into all of these bloody diets, sucked into all these programs, sucked into all these things, all this misinformation that's around on social media. Now, I'm not saying here I'm an expert, I'm fucking not, right? But it is simple, if you wanna lose weight, all you need is a calorie deficit. That is literally it. Whether you want to do that through cardio, whether you want to do that through restricting food, that is entirely up to you. You can do a bit of both. That is personally what I like to do. However, you do you. You find what works for you in your current situation. As long as you're in a calorie deficit, if that's your goal, obviously, you will lose weight. It is that simple. If you are not losing weight, you're in a calorie deficit, you're not in a calorie deficit, right? Rethink everything, track it for one week. Track everything you eat for one week you might be surprised the amount of extra things you feel like consuming, and then they tot up the calories and that's the reason you're not losing weight, right? Take your time with it, be consistent with it, and be honest with yourself as well, because that's the way you're gonna make the progress. Okay, let's go. Look at that. Check it. Still there, look. It's come off here now a little bit more though. But it is definitely still there. Anyway. <sighs> Delts. Oh man. Oh. I feel great guys. I honestly feel great. But we've still got 10 pounds, more than 10 pounds to go to get to the weight that we want to get to this summer, right? I feel like it almost might be a bit of a blessing in disguise, summer shredding being delayed because 
it allows me to take the approach that I like to take to, to dieting, right? I can take it slower. I can take my time, half a pound, a pound a friggin' month, and get there. Not a month, maths is all wrong, but you, you get the point, you get the principle of what I'm saying. I can take it a lot more steadily. Preserve the muscle mass that I have worked my friggin' ass off to make. I feel like I've made great progress in this bulk. I only bulked for like six months, but I feel like it went really friggin' well. I don't wanna then diet down super duper fast and lose all of that because I have to diet so fast. It's allowing me, it's giving me the opportunity, I should say, to take my time with it a little bit more. I feel like I should, I feel like I should take that opportunity, you know? But we'll see. We'll see how we go when the dates come by. It's one of those things, right? It's all in here, it's all in my head. And when the dates come around, when those body power dates come around, I will know what is right for me to do. I'll know what's right in my gut, literally. The vacuum should hopefully look a little bit better by that point, <laughs> the gut. Um, I'll know in my head, I'll know in my heart. I'll know once the time comes, but I am changing my mind as, as to what I'm gonna do on a daily basis at this point in time. <laughs> so if you're new here, stick around to see whether we decide to get shredded or not. focus on is actually spreading my back at the back so if I'm turned around like this sometimes I squeeze too much here and then forget to kind of extend out it's just sometimes I forget people wonder why I'm not competing just yet I haven't got things like that down pat yet bear with me I will compete one day just not yet we've got the online summer shredding competition first that kind of counts not really but kind of counts today Going for 18 kilo hammer curls. And I'll tell you what, something I've really noticed with my biceps is just the improved strength in them. Because I feel like I spent a good three years really, really well. And if you ask someone like Cam the Cameraman and Jake, well, I'm my old man for that matter, they will know that my biceps sucked. I mean, they're still suck if you ask me they still need bringing up in comparison to my triceps but god i'm sweating having to talk at the same time <sighs> i've definitely noticed an increase in strength like this is 18 kilos now i never would have been able to touch this a couple of years ago i know that's the point progressive overload and all that kind of stuff but like i'm stood here having a conversation with you and pumping out 18 kilo curls Mind you, my form is getting worse as I'm going along. I'm, I'm shaking it up more and stuff, but force reps have their place when it comes to biceps, but when it comes to everything, really. I feel fantastic. I feel so stupid saying, oh, I feel great, but I do, I feel really good. I feel really positive about just how things are going with the diet, you know? You gotta focus on the things that you can control, and I can control my diet and my weight, so. That's what we gotta do, people. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. You know what, I've never actually done an arm day. I've never done a day specifically for arms. Been training three, four years now. And I've never done one, not once. Never gone to the gym and just done arms. Never, not once, ever. Hmm. I always think that, you know, people struggle for motivation to get to the gym at the best of times. And so when they're struggling to go to the gym three days a week, I'm not saying this is specifically to me, but like I've always considered arm days slightly unnecessary, specific kind of arm days, right? I always just tag them on at the end of upper body sessions or push sessions or whatever. Because if you struggle to go to the gym three times a week as it is, and you're wasting, not, not that it's a waste, but if you're wasting, I'm gonna say wasting, if you're wasting one of those sessions on it just being arms, you've only then got two sessions which could potentially be upper or lower or whatever to then progress, and that's not enough. So I've just never really done it. I've always just tagged it on at the end of something, and I feel like my arms are decent, but 
I don't know. Just a, just a thought that occurred to me there. Never done an arm day. What a freak. It's not just the diet as well though, guys. Like, I feel good about this. I feel good about the direction that this channel is going in, the feedback that we're getting from you guys, the momentum of the channel, the momentum of the series, the kind of philosophy of the channel, the deep-rooted consistency philosophy of the channel has been, I feel like, cemented. You know, we've set that foundation over the past like four years and it's taken like four years to set that foundation. Now we can start building the building. We can start building the building quicker and quicker and quicker and things will just start to flow. I've, I've got a really, really, really good feeling about the next couple of months, the next few months. I've got so much planned even in the next couple of weeks, let alone until the rest of the year. There's so much going on right now, guys, that is out of everybody's control. And you have to focus on what you can control. And I can control this. I can work my frigging ass off for this. Every single video that you upload is like buying a lottery ticket. You can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. But this is a lottery that you can rig. This is a lottery that every single time your chance of winning, every single time you upload, your chances of winning go up. And then you can build that chance. Build it, build it, build it, build it. All it takes is one video to go nuts. I mean, some people never get that, but you can't bank on that either. But. I just feel good, I just feel good about the, the direction that the channel is going in. You know, looking at the analytics, looking at everything like that, that you have to kind of pay attention to. It's very important to pay attention to it if you do make videos, especially to the scale that I do. Um, you know, I, my protein, I feel I've, we've really seriously, I've been with them about six or seven months now, building month on month, what we're doing for them, what we're earning for them, and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's good, it's really, really good. And um, at the end of the day, it is literally all down to you guys, literally. Made an Instagram post about it the other day, it's cliche and it sounds like you're just kissing ass, which, which I suppose you are, but if you guys weren't watching the videos, I wouldn't be making them. It's literally that simple. I just flat out, full stop, would not be making them. But over time, over the past like four years, gradually, very gradually, things have gone up. But then you get to a point and this gradual, gradual increase starts to increase faster and faster and faster. And that takes some longer than others. But the momentum is building people and I feel good about it. I'm gonna work my ass off in the gym. I'm gonna work my ass off with this. I'm essentially treating this like a full-time job right now. I'm working, I don't even know how many hours a day on social media stuff, whether it's a phone call with the company, emails, something as simple as replying to DMs, editing, filming, or it's a full-time thing. People don't realize quite how much goes into it. But that doesn't matter. What matters is the final products, and I hope you guys do enjoy the videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you are new, stick around to see us building that momentum. You should always be searching for that momentum in life, people, in every way. Whatever you can do, whatever is within your control, take it, grasp it, keep hold of it, improve it. Practice makes perfect, people. I've made 520 odd videos now, and we've still got a lot to learn. <laughs> so excited. So excited. Thank you all so much for your support. Together, we will freaking grow. I'm gonna finish this cardio session, upload the previous video, edit this one, do the clap for carers, and then wake up and do it all over again tomorrow. Yeah. This is what I wanna do, people. This is what I have to do. If you're still watching, I appreciate you. You're a real OG. Comment down below. Together, we will grow. I wanna see it in the comments. I appreciate you all. Much love, and I will see you in the next one. Boom.